Welcome to the tutorial video on Bit C6. In this video, I'm going to talk about conditional dialogue. So we've seen in previous videos that we can have sprites and items have dialogue. That is, text appears when the avatar interacts with them, intersects with them. So we know when the avatar moves up with them, they say things. And the things they say, the texts, are part of their dialogue. And we saw in the previous video how we can edit this dialogue by clicking on the sprite or item within the paint window and changing the dialogue. Well, we can also have dialogue appeal appear conditionally. That is, when certain things happen, other things, sprites for example, can react. A pretty classic example is to have a sprite say something, like go do something, and then have an item to go pick up. Once you pick up the item, the sprite's text then change. It is conditional on picking up the item. So let's walk through that sort of classic example. So I have reset up to a new game here, and we have our very common setup of about window, room, paint, and colors. So to start then, I'm going to go ahead within the paint window and click on item. Then I'm going to place an item in the room. So now we have an item. Now the next thing I'm going to do, just so we can talk about it here, is down within this item, next to its name, I'm going to click on inventory. Now it's opened a new window over here called inventory and it says items T0. So this keeps track of how many instances of T we've picked up yet. So this is our inventory, and we currently have zero. Now I'm going to run this so we can see it. So I'm going to come over to the play window, come over to the room window, and click play. Then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move across it. Now if you were paying close attention, you notice over in the inventory while I was playing, it updated to one. This lets us know we have one T in our inventory. This is important because that's going to be part of the conditional we want to base this on. So we're going to have our sprite say something if we don't have the T, and then something else if T equals 1. Because if it equals 1, it means we've picked up at least one instance of it. So I'm going to stop play, and then come over to sprite. Now down here in sprite, it shows a dialogue. I am a cat. Well, that's pretty good, but we want to add some more to that. So we're going to open up the dialogue window. Over within tools up here, I'm going to click on dialogue. Now there's a lot of windows open right here, so I don't need all of them. I'm going to go ahead and close colors, and we're going to go ahead and close inventory. And now we can see right here the dialogue window, and that allows us a greater degree of control over the dialogue responses. So right now we see the pretty classic window, dialogue, I am a cat. And if anything changes, if I had a period, for example, it automatically gets updated down here in the dialog for this sprite. Now, we want to do something conditionally. So what we need, then, is a new conditional. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clear this out, delete this section, and then click on conditional. This creates a new conditional section for dialog. And you'll notice it actually added code down here in the dialog within the paint window for the sprite. Now over here in the dialog window allows us to sort of work through that by clicking on drop down items. So we want a conditional setup. We want one where we pick up something and the default. And it's actually already set that up for us here. Because we only have one item, it assumed we wanted to be talking about that. So it says, okay, when item T is equal, equal to one. That is, when item T is equal to one. So we know when we start in our inventory, t is equal to 0. If we pick up t, t is equal to 1. And that's exactly what we want. So let's put an option here. For you found it, because we know we've got the t, or at least one of them. And the default is... to go get it. So our default text is go get it. If item of t is equal to 1, that is there's at least one t, we see you found it. And this creates that conditional dialogue we wanted. Let's see it in practice. So I'm going to navigate down to the sprite, the cat, and now we have instructions go get it. Well, if I interact again, go get it. This time I'm going to go up and get the t. Found a nice warm cup of tea. Okay, and we know it's an item because it disappeared. And we come back down. You found it. 
Well, here's a very classic example of creating conditional dialog within Bitsy. We opened the dialog window for the sprite we wanted to change, and we changed its sections. Instead of a default dialog section, we added a conditional section. Within that, we changed the conditional we wanted to be based on. We set right here the rules when item t is equal to equal to 1, which means we have at least one t, say something. Otherwise, when default, say something else, go get it. And we'll notice here, as we updated this, it updated the code down here in the dialog window within the paint window. So let's review what we've gone over in this video. We can create conditional dialog by, within a sprite, finding it, and then opening the dialog window. So that selects that sprite and then changing its dialog. We can create an additional section within its dialog by removing any other dialog sections, if it just has a default, and adding a conditional one. Within the conditional, we can set up the rules we want, add different options. For example, in this one, we have when item t is equal to 1, so there's at least one t in inventory, say something, otherwise say something else. And we could create additional options within this conditional. So if there were more t's to collect, we could operate on different those, if there was two of them or three of them, or if we had multiple items in a scene, the sprite could respond based on the number of items within the inventory, knowing that when you intersect with an item, it becomes part of an inventory. So this allows us a greater variability of creating conditionals within the dialog to react to different things the player encounters within a room and within a game. Thanks for watching.